Hey, welcome to the Everyday Immunity Podcast, a place where we talk about different ways to boost the immune system naturally each and every day. I'm your host, Alicia Rosati of Rosati Nutrition. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today I want to talk about detoxing and cleansing and if it's for everybody, should you do it, what even is it? We're going to be discussing all of that in this episode. So serious question, what even is a cleanse or a detox? You see a lot of people promoting their like quick fixes to lose weight and whatever and granted with a detox or a cleanse, you can lose weight but probably not in the way that you think or that you would hope for. So a cleanse or a detox is, in simple terms, a way to literally cleanse your body. You are flushing everything out of your system. It's a way for you to kind of reset, start over, start fresh, um, and just get rid of like the toxins that build up in your body. Now, a lot of people come and They say, oh, but isn't that the role of your liver? Cleanses and detoxes are just a money scam. It it doesn't make any sense. They don't work. And yes and no. So your liver does detoxify your body. It detoxifies your blood a thousand percent. That's one of its major roles. Um, But it doesn't always work as efficiently as it should. So for those of you who don't know, I actually do have a background in environmental science. And in environmental science, we learn about bioaccumulation. So bioaccumulation is when toxins or chemicals, compounds, whatever you want to call them, um, they, uh, they literally accumulate and build up in animals, in fish, in whatever it is that you may be eating or something that you're exposed to. So if you are a meat eater or a fish eater, um, and let's say, I don't know, pesticides or some chemical is dumped into the ocean. Okay. Now a bottom feeder fish eats that pesticide or that chemical and just going up the food chain, you know, that next fish eats the smaller fish, a bigger fish eats that fish, which ate the smallest fish. So you're accumulating that amount of pesticide that the fish has come into contact with. And by the time that you eat it, if you eat a big fish like salmon or tuna, you know, there's a higher amount of pesticide than if you ate the bottom feeder fish. So do you kind of get where I'm going with this? So that's one way that we come into contact with these pesticides, chemicals, toxins. Another big one is um, pharmaceuticals that people flush down the toilet if they expire, they don't need them anymore. You know, that's another huge method of exposure for these harmful chemicals. So uh, that's one way for us to, again, come into contact with these by eating fish simply. Another way is, you know, just in the air. So if your neighbor sprays their lawn or their, um, yeah, I guess their lawn with, you know, fertilizer or pesticides, that can become airborne and now you're breathing it in every time you go outside. It doesn't even necessarily have to be your neighbor. It could be a guy two streets over, you know, it's in the air. And these things, because we're constantly um, in contact with them, they accumulate in our system, unfortunately. So while your liver is trying to work over time, you know, to pump out these toxins and these pharmaceuticals and all these chemicals and man-made synthetics and all of that, it does become a huge task (laughs) for your liver to do. And sometimes these chemicals can get like lodged in our fat cells, um, in specific organs like our liver, our kidneys, um, our thyroid, our lymphatic system, which is like your lymph nodes, um, your intestines, all of that, especially if you're not eating 100% organic, which who really does? (laughs) I mean, I try and eat as organic as much as possible, but it's really hard to do that and I get it. So as long as you're, you know, like I don't want to tell people if you can't eat organic, don't eat produce. A thousand percent no. If you cannot find organic or if it's just not in your budget, still eat the produce. You know what I mean? Just be mindful that you are ingesting however much uh, pesticide residue 
So it's just something to keep in mind is my honest opinion on that. So anyways, I'm kind of straying a little bit off topic here as I usually do. But yeah, so what is a detox? A detox or a cleanse is a way to just reset and refresh and get all the built up toxins, man-made chemicals, synthetic chemicals, pharmaceuticals, whatever you want to call it, out of your system. That's what it does. So now the next question is, what is it not? It is not a way for you to lose fat. Sorry, hate to break it to you. That may be a minor side effect based on what detox or cleanse you're doing, but typically that's not what a detox does. You see some people who post these amazing results that they lost 20 pounds, 30 pounds, they lost X amount of inches doing a detox and they feel great. And that's fine, but you usually gain all of that back because more often than not, that weight that they lost was simply water and poop. (laughs) I'm going to be very blunt here. It's water and poop. A lot of um, detoxes or cleanses really are only laxatives, um, which some in some cases is wise, you know, because you do have a lot of built up stuff uh, lining your small intestines and your large intestines, and you want to flush all of that out, which is great, but that shouldn't be the only factor in your detox or cleansing program. That's what I honestly believe, because there is so much to your whole body. There are so many other systems, so many other organs that get bogged down with these toxins and pharmaceuticals and pesticides. And I just don't think that a simple laxative um, should be called a detox or a cleanse program. That's my personal opinion on that. Um, But yeah, so don't get, you know, misled by these people who lose all this weight and you think that this is going to be your saving grace. I hate to break it to you, but it's not. Those effects will not last very long. Um, And once you stop taking that cleanse or that detox, chances are you're probably going to gain all of that weight back because like I said, it's simply water weight and poop. So (laughs) don't get caught up in that. Another thing that I wanted to mention is it's not healthy to always be on a cleanse or always be doing a detox like once a month. I would not recommend that whatsoever. Um, When you do a cleanse like that so often, your intestines, your colon can become dependent on it for, for you to go to the bathroom. So if you're always doing a cleanse, you know that in between time, you might find that it's harder to go to the bathroom. That's because now your colon has become dependent on those laxatives, which is what you don't want. You do not want your body to become dependent on anything, anything natural, anything pharmaceutical. I don't care what it is. You want your body to be self-sufficient. So I do not recommend doing a detox or a cleanse often. Um, I really, and obviously like the situation depends on who you are, what you do for work. Um, That will depend or that will tell you how often you should be doing a cleanse. But for general, for me, I feel safe doing it once or twice a year. That's for me. Whether it's good for you or not, you know, talk to someone, talk to a professional, talk to someone who knows what they're doing um, and they can probably give you a better idea, better guideline or better advice, recommendation. Um, I, for me, like I said, I would do once or twice a year. It's also not healthy to always be on a cleanse or a detox or any kind of laxative program. Um, because you know, you need, you need poop in your intestines. Your intestines should not be empty for a long period of time. That's because your food needs time to sit and to process in order for your intestines to absorb maximum nutrition. That's why you eat. You don't, like the point of eating, hate to break it to you, but the point of eating is not for satisfaction. (laughs) The point of eating is to stay alive. And in order to stay alive, you know, we eat these foods that nourish our bodies and give us vitamins and minerals and, and macros that we need. So if you're constantly flushing out your intestines, you know, you're not giving your intestines time to absorb that nutrition out of your poop. It's just not happening. So everything flies right through you, you know, and you may be super thin and 20 pounds lighter because fun fact, the average human holds anywhere from five to 20 pounds of poop at all times. And of course, that's just an average guideline. Um, But yeah, you may feel like, oh, I'm 20 pounds lighter because I'm taking this cleanse like every day and I take this daily detox. 
that's not really recommended. That's not great. You're probably not absorbing anywhere near the nutrition that you should be. And it's crazy to think like your intestines can hold up to 20 pounds of waste at all times. So for those of you who don't know, your small intestine is actually anywhere from 10 to 16 feet long. Like that's insane. And your large intestine on average is about five feet long. So in total, that's an uh, that's about 15 to 20 feet of intestines in you, you know, and those should be relatively full, uh, not, I mean, like not compacted, not jam-packed, but there should be waste in, in there. So if you figure 15 to 20 feet of waste, that's quite a bit of weight added to. So don't forget, you do have that extra weight because your intestines are full of poop. Okay, so moving on to my next point, who should do a cleanse? We've already talked about what it is, what it isn't. Now, who should be doing it? So a cleanse is a really good idea for most people in general, honestly. I'm actually currently doing a cleanse uh, or a detox that I created, and it's the first one I've ever done. My dad has done one um, a few years ago under the supervision of a naturopath because my dad's a mechanic, so he's around a lot of heavy metals like every day. Uh, so that that's a little trickier. You know, if you're around heavy metals or you work very closely with a lot of pesticides, if you're like a groundskeeper or something like that, you know, I recommend doing a cleanse um, under close supervision with a naturopathic doctor because those are a little more high risk. You know, you have a lot more toxins built up in your body. And if you detox too quickly or not quickly enough, or you don't support certain organs while you're detoxing, um, it can be really dangerous and could have really bad side effects. So in order to have to do like a proper safe detox, your lymphatic system needs to be clean and clear so that those toxins have a way to come out through sweat um, and that kind of thing. And if your lymphatic system is clogged and you're detoxing heavy metals out of your liver, they have nowhere to go. So now they're just going to circulate in your blood and you can get really, really sick. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Also, again, this is a really general guideline, but you should not be doing um, a certain cleanse or a detox if you have kidney disease, liver disease, or inflammatory bowel disease, including Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. That could really affect your condition. And again, if you wanted to do a cleanse or detox, check with your primary care physician first or a naturopathic doctor, um, and they'll be able to tell you if it's safe for you to do so. You should also not just blindly jump into a cleanse or a detox if you are on any sort of medication uh, or if you have really any health condition whatsoever, whether it's the ones I just mentioned or not. Um, again, like I mentioned, if you come into contact with heavy metals or pesticides frequently, talk to a health professional first. You know, there are some medications that you should not be taking if you're doing a cleanse. Uh, and this is not for all medications. You know, some medications, uh, you can still be doing a cleanse or a detox and it's safe. Some you cannot and it varies depending on what program you're doing. So, for example, if you're doing a program that involves uh, herbal remedies or herbal tinctures, you really have to be careful with which medications you're taking because when you take a pharmaceutical medication, it has to metabolize through your liver. And there are different pathways for these medications to metabolize. Some of these same herbal tinctures, Chinese medicines, they use those same pathways. So if you're taking an herb that uses that same pathway to metabolize, it could completely make that medication completely ineffective. Now, let's say, for example, you are taking high blood pressure medication and you start taking an herb that completely counteracts that, you know, you're going to be dealing with high blood pressure again, and that could potentially be really dangerous. So again, that's just something to think about. Um, talk to someone who knows what they're doing. Talk to your doctor just to be safe. You know, you always want to be safe. So, you know, just to amplify that note a little bit, uh, I'm currently doing a detox that I offer on my website. It's the first detox I've ever done in my life. And honestly, I feel really great. Uh, my mom is also doing it with me, which is fantastic. But, you know, just to kind of touch on that note again, she is taking some pharmaceutical medications. So, you know, I really dug deep through my research and things that I learned in my schooling. 
and found out that the medication she is taking and the herbs in my detox program do not interact. They don't use the same metabolic pathway. So, you know, it's generally pretty safe. And I've been monitoring her closely and she's been doing good, you know, so it's safe. But that's just something that you really, really need to look into. And if you don't know, if you're not comfortable in what you know in that aspect, ask someone. Ask a professional, you know, this is what they do, this is what I do. (laughs) And I'm not afraid to say if I really don't know, I'm not afraid to send you to your doctor to double check. I don't know everything, I don't know all the answers, but I do want you to be safe. Whether that means you ask me or you ask your doctor for their opinion, I don't mind. I just want you to be safe. So I want to talk about my own detox a little bit in case any of you guys were interested in doing one. So it's a 21-day detox and part of it is a kit of herbal tinctures, tea, and a powder from uh, a very reputable supplement company here in Ontario. Some of you guys may have heard of St. Francis Herb Farm. Absolutely love them as a company. They're just, they're fantastic. So it's a kit from them. Um, but then it's my own dietary and lifestyle guidelines. So it's really easy. Like I, I'm currently doing this cleanse, you know, and I don't want to offer something to people that's impossible to complete or that's miserable (laughs) because I wouldn't want to do that. Right. So I made sure, you know, I'm going to be testing out this detox. Let's see if it's doable. Let's see how I feel if I want to market this to people. And I can't, I'm being genuine here. Like I really love this detox. You're still eating real food. You're not hungry during the day. Like I eat snacks, guys. (laughs) I can still eat snacks. It's not completely vegan. Um, You have your animal, your animal protein once a day. Um, You're just eating a lot of plants, drinking a lot of water, Um, still, you know, doing some light, moderate exercise, getting proper sleep. And for some people, this may sound like a lot, but it's really not. I have some other people doing this detox with me and one of the first things they said was, you know, they did lose some weight. Um, They're going to the bathroom. They are losing fat because of the dietary guidelines that I have given and they are so energized, which you often don't think of when you're doing a cleanse. You think like you're going to be sluggish and miserable and that may happen. That did happen to me for a little bit. I was a little irritable because I couldn't have sugar anymore, (laughs) but you know, to feel energized doing a cleanse, like that's amazing. So right now we're about halfway through. I feel so good. I have lost a little bit of weight. Um, I've been a lot more focused during the day, which is fantastic. Um, But yeah, just to hit home again, like the energy thing, I feel fantastic. Everyone doing this detox with me right now feels so, so, so good, which is really encouraging for me. Because I want to offer, you know, good products and services to people that people really enjoy. So that makes me really happy. But yeah, if you guys were interested in doing a detox or a cleanse, I have one available. Go on my website, uh, www.rosadinutrition.ca, and you will see the tab that says services that shows all the programs and packages that I offer. Um, And I believe it's the second one on my website is the 21 day detox. Or you can simply message me. You know, I'll order you in a kit. Um, I'll get you prepared. It comes with a whole booklet of foods to eat, foods not to eat. You get some free recipes when you do this detox with me. Um, You get ongoing support, you know, all that fun stuff. And it's a whole kit for 21 days. Or sorry, for the, the supplements are for 20 days. My guidelines are for 21 days. Um... But yeah, all for $99.95, which is really reasonable considering you can get a lot of other cleanses that are really miserable and really intense um, for like $300. I don't want to do that to people. So like I said, check it out if you're interested. Message me if you're interested. I can clarify some things for you. Um, But yeah. And the final note that I want to touch on is not all detoxes are the same. They are far, far, far from the same. Is the detox that you're looking into herbs only? Is it food only? Can you even eat food? Is it juice only? Is it a water fast? You know, is there any fasting? Does it involve intermittent fasting? Uh, What's the goal? How long does this detox last? Is it for a week? Is it for three days? Is it for a month? Is it for three months? Um, Are you going to lose weight? 
Does it target your liver? Does it target your kidneys? How about your lymphatic system? Are there any contradictions to it? Do you have any medications that you're taking that uh, you can't take with this new detox? What are the risks of it? Is it gentle or is it more of an intense detox? How are you going to be feeling on this detox? You know, there's so many questions to ask and I don't think it's wrong for you to ask before signing up for a program. And I'm not talking about just my program, any program that you choose to do. You have to make sure that it's tailored to you and to what you want to accomplish. You know, does it coincide with your uh, conditions? Does it coincide with what medications you're taking? Is it going to accomplish the goal that you are trying to achieve? So just some different things to think about. You know, I, like I said, I don't think it's wrong to question a product before you take it. Um, just be more informed, you know, make a more informed decision on anything to do with your body. That's another thing that I like to preach is know what's going on with your body and make educated decisions on your health. At the end of the day, I don't care if you buy my products, although <laughs> I would really appreciate it. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. You know, everyone's health and safety and comfortability level comes before me trying to make a dollar. So just something to keep in mind, something I wanted to touch on for you guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you have any questions or if you are interested in doing a detox, either email me at alicia at rosadinutrition.ca. You can go on my website, click the contact form and send me an email there. Or, you know, just send me a message on Facebook or on Instagram at Rosati Nutrition. I'm always on my phone, so I will always get your messages and I will respond as soon as possible. But yeah, with that, I leave you guys. Hope I provided some helpful information in this episode and make sure to check back for more. But until then, this has been your host, Alicia Rosati of Rosati Nutrition, and I will talk to you in the next episode.